didn't miss much. I just cut the tape. Users manual. Toss that out. Okay. This is the uh, smallest one they had for 99 bucks. And this is a tiny space. I don't think I'm going to need a, a lot of heat. It says it'll do like 1,300 square foot. So we shall see. Cord on there for the fan. I guess it's not a big deal. Um, looks like it has any range from kind of low to high. That's nice. It's not just like a low, medium, high, like click. So uh, it does come with the, um, the hookup. <laughs> You know, 30 pound tanks. So I'm gonna get that hooked up and uh, fire it up, and I'll give you a little demonstration of what it sound and, and how I think the heat is going. I wish I had a thermometer, but okay. Comes with a fairly long cord. I guess they don't want the tank right by the heater. You will have to hook it up. A little rubber cap comes off of here, and we're gonna put this on with a crescent wrench. Okay. Well, I just fired it up off camera because, well, if I blew up, well, I didn't have to see it. So, uh, what surprises me is that the second you plug it in, the fan and the igniter start running. Um, and they don't shut off, or the igniter doesn't shut off until it senses heat, apparently. So, here, let me show you. The igniter gone. Push this in. Well, it kind of misfired there. And that little igniter in there stops going. This thing throws out a ton of heat. Not gonna have to worry about heating a small garage, that's for sure. Uh, anyways, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Uh, this thing kicks ass for $99.